Hey coders, ready to turn your AI powered IDEs like Cursor, Klein, or Windsurf into productivity powerhouses? Model Context Protocol or MCP tools are your secret sauce, acting like a universal API to connect your editor to live data, external apps, and automation workflows. I've scoured Expos, GitHub repos, Reddit threads, and dev blogs to bring you the best MCP tools for 2025, including the buzzworthy Context 7 MCP server. We'll dive deep into what makes each tool awesome where they fall short, how they solve real developer pain points, and step-by-step -step installation instructions. Buckle up for a technical deep dive, and let's make coding feel like magic. Kicking off at number five, Context 7 MCP Server, a game changer for dodging AI hallucinations in your code. Developed by Upstash, Context 7 fetches version-specific documentation and code snippets in real time, injecting them into your IDE's LLM prompts for unmatched accuracy. The good? It pulls official docs for libraries like React 18.3, Next.js 2.3, or Redis PY, ensuring your AI avoids deprecated APIs. It's version aware, matching snippets to your project's exact dependencies, and supports Cursor, Klein, Windsurf, and Claude Desktop via a standardized MCP interface. With 800 plus GitHub stars and a free tier for personal use, it's gaining traction fast. The bad? Setup can be complex. Smithery CLI is smooth for Claude, but manual JSON configs for Cursor or Windsurf can be finicky especially for newbies. It's also limited to documentation tasks, not general purpose MCP like scraping. Why is it useful? Context 7 eliminates the pain of outdated LLM suggestions. For no GLS 18 or higher is installed, let's install an MCP on Claude using Smithery. Step one, open your browser and log into your Smithery account. Now search for the MCP you want, for example, Context 7 MCP and click on Install. At the top, you'll see three tabs, Auto, JSON, and URL. Click on the one that says JSON. Now choose your operating system. Click on Windows. Smithery will generate a block of JSON code. Go ahead and copy that code. Next, open the Claude desktop app Click on File, then Settings, then Developer, and finally Edit Configuration. This will open Claude's local configuration folder. Open the JSON file in Visual Studio Code. Now paste the code you copied from Smithery into the file. Save it. Once done. Restart Claude. And that's it. Your MCP is now successfully installed and running. Number four is we have browser base MCP, a web developer's dream tool. It lets your IDE interact with live websites, capturing screenshots, inspecting DOM elements, or simulating user actions, all without leaving your editor. The good? It offers real-time web debugging, pulling CSS or scraping data with sub-second latency, and integrates seamlessly with Cursor, Klein, and Windsurf. Its NPM-based setup is quick, taking under two minutes on average. The bad Windows users often hit middleware issues requiring a manual NPM run build, and it can consume 500 MB plus RAM, slowing low spec machines. Let's install an MCP on Claude using Smithery. Search for the MCP you want, like browser-based MCP, and click on install. Now Smithery will ask you for an API key. To get it, go to the official browser-based website, log in and copy your API key. Return to Smithery, paste the key, and click connect. Click on JSON, select Windows, copy it. So open the Claude desktop app, go to File, Settings, Developer, and then Edit Configuration. This opens Claude's local config directory. Open the JSON file using Visual Studio Code. Paste the JSON code and save the file. Finally, restart Claude. You've now installed the browser base MCP and it's ready to use. Coming in at number three is Firecrawl MCP Server, the open source champion of web scraping. It crawls websites and delivers LLM ready data like Markdown or JSON directly in your IDE with a throughput of up to 100 pages per minute. The good? It's fully customizable via GitHub, supports complex scraping rules, and works flawlessly across Cursor, Klein, and Windsurf. 
is GitHub stars reflect strong community love. The bad? Setup requires Docker, which can be a 1 GB plus install, and Windsurf users may face timeouts without HTTP middleware tweaks, adding five or 10 minutes to config. Why is it useful? Search for the MCP you'd like to install, such as Firecrawl MCP, and click on Install. Smittery will now ask for your Firecrawl API key. To get this, head over to the official Firecrawl website, log in, and copy your API key. Paste the key back into Smithery and click Connect. Once connected, select the JSON tab at the top, click Windows, copy it, open the Claude desktop app, go to File, Settings, Developer, then Edit Configuration. Open the JSON file found in Claude's local config folder using Visual Studio Code. Paste the code you copy and save the file, then restart Claude. Your Firecrawl MCP is now successfully installed and ready to go. Number two is Composio Notion MCP, a godsend for Notion of obsessed developers. It lets your IDE pull Notion pages, create tasks, or sync PRDs with external tools like GitHub or Jira, all via a secure OAuth flow. The good? Setup takes two minutes. It supports complex workflows like bidirectional GitHub sync, and it's rock solid in cursor and Klein with 99.9% .9 uptime per Composio's metric. It's GitHub stars show its popularity. The bad, Windsurf can generate duplicate tickets unless you set unique IDs and payloads and it's Notion exclusive, limiting versatility. Let's now install the Composio Notion MCP using cursor. First, go to the Composio official website Right on the homepage, you'll find the MCP install code. Go ahead and copy that code. Next, open the cursor application. Inside cursor, open the terminal, paste the code you copied into the terminal. Hit enter. You'll be prompted to confirm the installation. Just type the letter Y, then press enter again. And that's it. The Composio Notion MCP is now successfully installed and ready to use. Topping the list, Magic MCP by 21st DevEb, an AI-powered UI generator that's like having a designer in your IDE. The good, it accelerates prototyping, supports modern stacks like React, TypeScript, and Tailwind, and its Discord community of 500 plus beta testers is super active. The bad, it's in beta, so clients preview can glitch on complex components and mastering natural language prompts takes a few tries. Let's install the Magic MCP by 21st Dev using Cursor. Start by visiting the 21st Dev website, click Sign In to continue, and authenticate your account. Next, connect your GitHub account when prompted. Once connected, you'll see an install command. Go ahead and copy that. Now, open the Cursor application and cursor, head over to settings, and then go to the MCP section. Click on add new MCP. Now here's the important part. You'll see a blue bracket where the JSON object begins. Right after that bracket, first add a comma, then paste the code you just copied. Before saving, locate and remove the previous server entry you've already created, if any, to avoid conflicts. Once that's done, save the configuration, and that's it. Your Magic MCP by 21st Dev is now installed and ready to use inside Cursor. That's the ultimate list of the six best MCP tools to dominate in Cursor, Klein, and Windsor. From Context7's documentation precision to NX's monorepo mastery, these tools will 10x your productivity and make coding feel effortless. Which one are you most excited to try? Drop it in the comments and let's nerd out over MCP. Smash that like button, share with your dev squad, and subscribe with the bell icon for more AI powered coding hacks. All links, including detailed setup guides are in the description. Keep coding like a legend and I'll catch you in the next video.